Yes, hello everyone and welcome to the Spec Item Database project developed as part of the Amos course during the winter semester 2022 and 2023. And this is our team and as you may have noticed we are nine motivated students from Berlin and Erwangen who worked in partnership with Develop Group uh, Holding in order to create a database uh, for management of specification items documents, uh, which contain technical requirements for different automotive uh, electronic control units. And our goal was to facilitate the work of our industry, part industry partner with these documents by creating an online database with a browser-based user interface. So we have developed a versioning mechanism and action triggers via REST API in the backend in order to be able to search, edit, update, or delete uh, these spec items in the front end and also to import or export uh, documents containing these specification items or to compare their versions. So this is how our design looks like. Uh, as you can see, we run our application using Node.js uh, and design the, the UI using React.js, which then they communicate with uh, Java and send a HTTP requests uh, to the backend where our Spring framework uh, is uh, handling them and executing the specified operations within the database. And yeah, our spec items are actually stored in a PostgreSQL database system. Okay, let's go to the app and show a demo. We first add a document by selecting a file from our computer, then upload it, then go back to the spec items overview table. Here we can see different spec items with their attributes and a value for each attribute. We can expand them so that we can see a more detailed uh, information about each uh, attribute. And also, as you can see here, there are the so-called tracers, which are links referring to an item in the database. And the existing one are colored and uh, in blue and underlined. And when we click on them, as you can see, we go to the specified row in the overview, ta overview table and it is also covered in green. Also in, an important thing is that we can search by ID. For example, we copy this ID, we paste it, filter and yeah, we have, uh, we, have we got our item. So what is more? Uh, yeah, we can also choose which columns to be shown like that. Uh, yeah, an important thing our spec item database can do is the versioning uh, mechanism that we have implemented. Therefore, we uh, upload a file with some changes. We can go to the single view uh, page and then uh, look at the history. There are two versions as we can see and in order to see the changes we select two spec items and then compare them. Here the change, the new changes are covered in green and the old values are covered in red. And we can go back to the single view page and here another important feature is the adding of text. Uh, for example, uh, some symbols and we save the text, go back to the overview table and our texts are displayed in the table. Also, we are able to export uh, 
the files in the table by saving them to an export file, going to the export menu, and then click on the get download link. Here, when we open this uh, file, we can see that there are all the items with, for example, the new tax and status and so on, commit time. And yeah, uh, that's basically how our app works and thank you for your attention.